I wasn't prepared for this. I wasn't prepared for this. Hello. So, in the morning, I am getting up to catch a flight to Denver because I'm going to the Gymshark Denver headquarters. Ooh, first female athlete in the headquarters. So, I'm about to start packing, but I will otherwise catch you guys in the a.m. Good morning and happy Monday. It is 6.50 and I'm about to cut up an Asian pear and eat this because I'm about to head out the door to the airport. I just got here, it is crazy. It has been quite the travel day, but I'm going to baggage claim now and then I'm getting picked up. Y'all, let me tell you, it has been a day and a half of travel, and I swear my flight was supposed to leave Kansas City at 9.15 and arrive to Denver at like 10.15 or something like that. Tell me why it's 1.35 p.m. right now. Insanity. And it's so cold outside. It's literally negative. But we're here. I made it. I'm breaking out. I never break out like this, so... That's weird, and I'm sure the climate isn't gonna help, but I'm in Denver, baby. In the yo. He's playing my voice. All right. I am currently in the elevator going up to my room. Just got to the hotel, and it's time to shower because I, I feel disgusting, so let's go. Gosh, welcome to my room. How freaking precious is this? Not the robe, they got me a whole robe, y'all. Ah, after this whole day of travel, it feels so nice to be in a room where I can sit down and where I can shower. Oh my gosh, just look at how gorgeous the shower is. And I can take my mask off, my two masks. But this is fantastic, love it, I'm so excited. Ah, you guys, I'm gonna give you a rundown of everything, but I'm gonna chill out, get ready for dinner. Gonna have some dinner with Ben, Callum, a couple people, and then we will chill. But welcome to my room. Ooh, I think I also, um, I think I also might end up staying an extra day actually because my flight was so crazy today. I didn't really get time to spend here in Denver. So might be leaving on Wednesday instead of Tuesday. But that recording session was so fun. Like it was so different for me and I've never done like voice recordings or voice memos before. And you guys will see that that is for the International Women's Day campaign. Why Gymshark wanted me to be the voice of the campaign? I truly couldn't tell you, but I am honored and so thrilled and so thankful that they thought I would be a great candidate to actually do that and I hated hearing my voice but I'm really glad that I got some behind the scenes for you guys so I hope you enjoy watching that but I just got here it's like five o'clock almost here so it's like six o'clock at home and I'm ready to chill out but I'm excited to get some food apparently we're going to get some good stuff um oh my gosh stop not the freaking door not the barn door. Y'all know I love this. It matches my house at home. But, yay! I'm in Denver finally. I hope that I get to see my mom tomorrow. We'll chit-chat about that at a later time. 
But yeah, I'm here. Okay, so I just hopped out of the shower. The one thing that I forgot from back home was my hair gel. So all I have in my hair is conditioner at the moment. Usually I lock the curls in with a gel afterwards, but we're just gonna deal with this, but I'm just getting ready right now. So I, yeah, I brought my whole Dyson. Um, Callum was like, Libby, I know you didn't bring this huge suitcase for one night. But that's where you're wrong, Callum, because I did. You know, my process was I had the small little carry-on suitcase that goes in the stowaway up top. I had that packed. And then I was like, wait a second. Well, I'm coming here with my hair curled. What if I want to wash my hair and do it? I have to bring my Dyson. What if I don't want to do that, but I want to recurl my hair? I have to bring the curling iron. Oh my gosh, what if I want to look nice sometime and wear my docks? Had to bring my docks. So basically... I went ahead and brought my gargantuan suitcase full of all kinds of things that I don't need because I'm the world's worst overpacker. I will bring outfits for like 16 days when it's one night, okay? That's just how I am. I had to prepare. I have two makeup bags and I don't even wear makeup, but it's skincare stuff and hair stuff. So we gonna get ready. So basically just to run you guys through the events of today, um, I was supposed to fly in today and leave tomorrow night, get home at like nine o'clock. So here's how it went. This morning I wake up at like 6. I'm ready to go. I'm out the door at 7. My queen Tyra picks me up to drop me off at the airport. I'm like, yay! My flight from Kansas City is supposed to leave at 9.15. So I'm there. I'm ready. I'm chilling. I'm in a little waiting area. I have my gate and everything. Things are fine. Then we board the plane. Awesome. Things are cool. Um, This is where things got crazy. So it's like 9 o'clock. And then they were like, oh, there's a slight delay. We're already boarded. There's a slight delay because one of the generators in the engine is like messed up and needs like a breaker reset. Um, I'm like, okay. So I'm sitting here, I'm like, maybe it won't take long. They had already backed the plane out and got it ready to go on the runway. Then they tell us that. So then they were like, try to fix things, work on things. And it's been like mm, 40 minutes that we've been sitting on the runway. Then they're like, oh, we're gonna take you guys back to the gate. I'm like, okay, they're gonna take us back to the gate. I wonder if we have to go back inside. No, we pull up to the gate and they're still working on this plane. And I'm like, cool, it's Gucci. I don't really know what they're expecting. I mean, I don't have anything going on until later. I was cool with the time. Everything was okay the entire time. And please keep in mind, it's like negative nine degrees in Kansas City and I'm in the second row. So my little phalanges, my toes froze off, broke off. They're still left on the plane. I swear my toes don't exist anymore. They went through some trauma. We haven't even gotten into the air and they're like, all right, it's time for the mid-flight snacks. I'm like, okay, give me the pretzels or whatever. They come by with a bottle of water. And then like two minutes later, they're like, all right, here's the little snack pack with the pretzels, another bottle of water, a Stroop waffle. I'm like, cool, we're still grounded. We're still in Kansas City. So I'm texting everybody because I have service still. And I'm like, y'all, we haven't even left the runway. They're like, all right, it's time to go guys. We're all locked and loaded, we're ready. They close the doors and then we head to Denver. And then I literally think it was like an hour long flight. It felt so quick. I closed my eyes and we were there. So the flight was like three hours delayed. So I got here super late, not at the time that we expected. I was supposed to land in Denver at 10.15, I believe. And I ended up landing at close to like 1.30, I believe. It was really cool to see how Gymshark HQ in the UK has kind of transferred over to Gymshark HQ Denver. Um, because they definitely look very similar to one another. I was just thinking it's so crazy that I am doing the voiceover for International Women's Day, but I remember when Gymshark hit 2 million on Gymshark Women, um, they asked me to be part of the International Women's Day campaign, and that was just me sitting in a video basically saying, like, congrats on 2 mil, and here we are now. Like, it's crazy how things change in such a little amount of time, but also it feels like forever since I've done that. But yeah, I just want you guys to know, like, you can do anything. Like, there's so many opportunities and so many possibilities for you. Do not let yourself be stopped. And I really, really love the message of the International Women's Day campaign. It's just about, you know, being you and doing you and nobody stopping you. So, keep that in your mind. Okay, this is the fit. Hopefully y'all can see it. I'm wearing the Venture joggers. They're super cute. I don't even think these are in stock anymore, but I love these because you're able to actually like cinch the waist in if you want. There's two buttons here and then a zipper fly, but they're so cute. And then they have pockets here, of course. And then at the bottom, 
you're able to um, unvelcro this and tighten it as much as you want. And then I just have a vital singles crop top on. Cute. That's about it. I am going to get ready to head out the door because I think my Uber is gonna be here momentarily. Okay, talk to you later. Oh, hi. My makeshift tripod is out here thriving. But I'm back, I'm about to chill. I am a college student, so I'm going to work on some homework. Um, if you guys don't know, I'm actually doing my capstone over Gymshark and company culture and whatnot, so it's really interesting and I can use some of this experience in my capstone, so that's pretty cool. But I hope you guys have a wonderful night. I know you're probably watching this at a most random time ever, um, but I had a really great day today. It was a long day. A lot of travel but I've been able to do some really cool things see some fantastic people and I'm excited to wake up tomorrow and do some more cool stuff um, tomorrow I am actually hosting a little Q&A session for International Women's Day I'm just really enjoying my short amount of time that I do have here love you guys Thank you, Gymshark, for always um, putting me in these cool positions. I'm just really thankful. I'm just having a moment of gratitude and just like so excited and so happy. I love that there's a hair on my shoulder. It's time to go night night. Ha. All right. I'll see you in the A. I'll see you in the morning. Love you. Bestie vibes only, bestie vibes only. So I just called to extend my stay for one more day um, because we have a couple of things that I'm doing today for Gymshark. And then later on, I'm gonna try to meet up and see my mom from a distance. Uh, but she really wants to see me. My hair is so big. She's huge. What? It's okay, we're thriving. But it's so nice because I can just brush it out. Wow. Wow. Oh my gosh. I have so much hair. There's so much volume here. So I just walk out of the hotel like this instead and I'm like, I'm here. What do you want from me? Okay, well, I just got ready because I'm about to head out the door to go to the office to do a little interview which you guys will see soon and then also I'm doing another reading of a letter to my younger self. Hey. Guess who I'm with? Hey, we. We're gonna go visit my mom, but since my mom is so immunocompromised, I can't actually like physically go give her a hug or anything like that. So we're gonna talk from inside of the car because if I came to Denver and I told my mom I was coming and I didn't make an effort to at least see her, she probably would have had a mental breakdown and I would have too. So, Miss Trudy, Miss Trudy, we're on our way to you, mom. <laughs> So I grabbed a little bit of dinner earlier, which was delicious, and then I went to go see my mom. It was so nice. I haven't seen my mom in over a year, um, but yeah, she was so happy, and basically we stood, or we were distanced, but it was just nice to kind of be in the same area to be able to talk to each other and like, uh, want to hug each other, but it was so nice to see my mom finally. Um, I'm kind of just wrapping up my night. I'm packing up my bag because in the morning, getting up early and I'm gonna go grab some breakfast with the team and then kind of chill until my flight later tomorrow. But this is my brushed out hair in a little bun, good times or whatever. But it's been such a great stay. I've really enjoyed it. I've had a lot of fun. Things went by really fast, but I soaked up as much as I could and tried to, you know, include it in this vlog. But it was a lot of moving parts. Um, but yeah, I'm just winding down for the night and I'm ready to be home. It's an ice storm, a blizzard, but I'm ready to be home with JJ and Bronx and in my own bed because I swear the last time I slept in a hotel was 
2019. I have not been in a hotel since then, and it was with a Jazzy at the Houston Gymshark pop-up. Oh my gosh, literally forever ago, but yeah, it kind of feels odd to be in a hotel because I guess it's otherwise been like an Airbnb, but other than that, I really haven't even been anywhere, obviously, because Miss Rona. Um, but yeah, I've had a really good time. I'm wrapping up my night. I'm straight chilling, and I'm probably gonna do some homework and edit, honestly. This is me, this is the real Libby. Uh, but yeah, I'll talk to you guys in the morning. I am about to put my hair into two French braids. I just woke up, it's 7.36. I guess I've been up for a little bit. Hopped in the shower. I am haggard once again. Um, update, I can't do two French braids because I only have this scrunchie and then I only have one other hair tie, which I need to find. Well, I wasn't prepared for this. I wasn't prepared for this. I don't have much time. I need lotion on my elbow. Um, okay, okay. We'll check in soon. Hello, um, I decided to curl my hair because it was like my only option. I had to wear my hair down somehow and I had one pony to use. So I did half up, half down. And this is her. She's here. Cute. I'm wearing the new Animal Seamless with the Speed Sports Bra. I love that my toothpaste is all over this mirror. Okay, going to get breakfast now. Oh my gosh, hi vlog. We've been on the move. So, we have Christine back here who has been um, assisting me. <laughs> but we just finished working out. We went to Armbrust. Armbrust. Um, with Serena, which she'll be over here in just a second. Mini Serena, teeny tiny girl. She's precious. Everybody gets a chair. It's beautiful. Super cute. And we're chilling. Oh, and this is the box that I got. The best you, born here. Um, yes, I do have a paper towel in here, but I got a Gymshark lanyard, all kinds of snacks. They've they've got me on the white monster now, okay? All kinds of good stuff, though. Thank you guys to the kitchen, because they have some good snacks in the kitchen. Wow. We have Serena, and we have Christine. I'm so zoomed in on you guys. We just walked across the street to go get some pokey. And Miss Serena's over here. Yes, ma'am. We're here. We're ready to eat. We have Marissa. Hello. We have Ben. We have Christine. This is my pokey. I'm excited to eat it. Got some miso soup. This Christine. Bing, bing. And Ooh. we're in. The foliage. This looks just like the UK HQ. I haven't been there, but I would assume that they're very similar. Tons of little chairs, tons of areas to sit. Here we have some food, some snacks, a little kitchen. <laughs> we're socially distancing here. So as you can see, every other scene is open. And then we have this little new area. The lockers over here, more TVs of athletes. Work hard, stay humble, okay? Humility is huge. These are my favorite parts. I just love the text on the walls. This screams Gymshark. Delightful. Oh, this entire wall is a whiteboard. I should sign it. And then you can sit here at the big table and your face is blown up on this screen. I love it. Next. All right, and then this is where we have a bunch of different areas to meet. Mr. Cow and Big Daddy is in there. <laughs> I signed one of these. That you guys saw actually, I vlogged it where I did a QA with a bunch of different athletes, which was fantastic for International Women's Day. Yes. Matilda. Yes. <laughs> we love to see it. Oh my gosh, there she is. Miss Serena. She's here, she's live, she's break dancing. She tried to teach me how to break dance, I just couldn't make it happen. She came in today, so it was super nice to see her. And then we come around this way. And this is where the potty is at, which I think I've showed you guys that already. That is it. And we're back at where we started. So, that was a fun time. Welcome to the gym for office. I hope you enjoyed it. I work here now. I am an employee, and I was going to get employee of the month. All right, 
right, I am headed down. I have my luggage. I have my last white monster. And I'm about to hop in the car and head to the airport and get home to JJ and Mr. Bronx. But it's been such a great visit. I'm like so sad that it's over, but hopefully I get to come back very, very soon. It's time to go home. I'm going through security. Just dropped off my luggage and then we'll be on our way. What is up guys? I'm sitting on my floor right now, but I just wanted to basically, what is my hair doing? Wrap up this vlog and say thank you guys for coming with me. I'm glad I got to share this little experience with you guys and hang out and go to Denver and travel. Um, it's definitely been a long time, I know, for a lot of us, but it was refreshing to be able to be around people that I love, that I love spending time with, and that I feel like a family in. Bronx missed me so much, and I miss him too, but it was just so refreshing, and it was so nice to actually get to actually see a lot of the new U.S. team members, the sponsorship team, and those of the people that were actually in the office when I was there to visit. Um, they're absolutely incredible, and you can just tell that the Gymshark family tie is so so strong and no matter where you are in the world if you're in the UK or if you're here in the US you just feel like you are part of a family and that's what I love about Gymshark it doesn't feel like you're judged it doesn't feel like you're an outsider Gymshark wants you to always be yourself and I think that's what makes it feel more comfortable when you're around these people because they see you online of course but when you get to actually interact with them in person and talk and tell stories and learn about each other on a deeper level it's just fantastic but thank you so much to Gymshark for having me out I'm really excited for you guys to actually hear my little voiceover and see the campaign and everything but yeah thank you guys so much for watching going on this little trip and little journey with me um, I hope to be back in Denver sometime soon um, and see a few more of the athletes and the team and whatnot but I love you guys this was such a great time ah Again, expect nothing and appreciate everything, always. That's going to wrap up this vlog. This water, I mean, this light is just washing me out right now. I don't know why. But I will talk to you guys later. Later.